Hey guys, before we do the reaction, I want to talk about something that uh, no one ever talks about, but we should. Body hair and the groin. Right now we have the lawnmower 3.0 with us, and Shane, do you have anywhere that you need to shave? Maybe, yeah. not, maybe not the groin, but yeah. somewhere else? Yes! Shane, you could just use this. How's that feel? Baby smooth, eh? Good. Now imagine this, but you nuts. Get the lawnmower 3.0 and more over at manscaped.com. Use code word BLINDWAVE and get 20% off as well as free shipping. Now, back to the reaction. Hey guys, Crew Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Shane. Aaron. Rick. And we're back with Brooklyn 99. Last time on, uh, Peralta got in a little bit of a pickle, if you will. Huh? Terry ate them. Yep. You got those pickles. Tiny Terry loves his pickles. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a fun episode. I always see him more. <laughs> that guy? I love his brother in law. He's, a, he's so big. Yeah, that deep voice is great. It's it's, uh, it's hard to dwarf Terry Crews. But it is. Good. They did a good so, job of that. Right, what do we do the next this episode? Let's find out. Scully and his pop pack 30 minutes ago, so we probably got 10 minutes left on this nap. 12 if he's turkey tired. Chest <laughs> <laughs> <Come on. laughs> It's trapped. Look at those mission. holes. I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> It's not just shoes, it's his feet. Socks. Let's send these shoes to hell. Are they gonna blow them up? <laughs> oh, 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 wait. Yeah, it just smells worse than before. Oh. Yeah. Abort! Okay. <laughs> now he has no shoes. It's the best book I've ever read, and I've read 15 books. 50 books is not a lot. Wait, you said 15? The squad is what made me excited. I heard you can relate, right? Yeah, it's pretty high. Skag is heroin, and the book says it's so good you can never stop doing it. So you have to class, Jacob. On a side note, I later lost my virginity to oh. Mrs. Stratton's daughter. It was very fast. Nice. Mr. Broker. <laughs> Gaminsky, Kavanaugh, Quigg. Those guys were the real deal. I once saw Gaminsky choke a hippie to death with his own ponytail. <laughs> I love that. Mr. Broker is writing an article about how Brooklyn did. I'm fine on the stand. Look, I'll make this real simple so even these dum dums can understand. Man did crime. I'm sorry, can you make her stop doing that weird thing with her face? Crime? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna break those little fingers. Miss Diaz, please stop threatening the stenographer. <laughs> Do me a favor, wake me when your shift is over. No way. Wow, that is amazing. I'm in this. That was immediate. Like you. We'll trust you. Fine. How do I get these morons to like me? <laughs> Don't call them morons. Good instinct! <laughs> <laughs> Sit up straight. Please, can I jump onto a sweet mob related homicide? There are no sweet mob related homicides on this. <laughs> Boom! There's one at the 7 3. Hello, I'm Raymond Holt. Are you here to turn yourself in? <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible! <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. It's not... Bartender, two scotches. No, he meant two bottles. What? I mean, yeah. Here you go. Oh, Jeez. right. <laughs> well, long night. Never get me! Never get me! They have you! I already got you, idiot. <laughs> Do it! I believe in you. Uh! <laughs> Do it! I believe in you! I didn't even see the woman on his head till the end. <laughs> we need to soften up your look. My wife and Charles' mom donated some clothes. Your wife and Boyle's mom are both blind. <laughs> well, I look like Arsenio. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. 
Arsenio, Arsenio Hall. Arsenio Hall. No. I was, however, extremely into cocaine for most of 1986. I gotta tell you the truth, this guy can't tell you the truth. You and me, man, we're gonna be co-captains. But first, I'm taking you to Japan. I'm already back. <laughs> <laughs> Protein for my guns. I drink one every morning before I lift. So. You're done that before? <laughs> no. It's, it's, it's disgusting. <laughs> it slides down your throat. Oh, so good. You can barely even tell it's a chicken embryo. <laughs> you should drink it all for your guns. I should drink it all for your guns. For your guns. Your guns. I've done mixed orange juice and you, yeah. just, you yeah. can't really taste it. Uh, Hold your nose. Get it. Don't hold it in your mouth. Yeah, you gotta mix up the yolks, man. Oh. Is what you're gonna say in your article? Ah, uh, don't worry. You're gonna come out looking real good. <laughs> especially after our talk in the bar. So many good quotes, especially about hope. Cops are usually afraid to go after their captains like that. But you, sir, are old school. What? That's not good. What do you say about Holt? Oh, pineapples. What did you do? Oh, no. <laughs> Perfectly candid. My name is Detective Rosa Diaz. Well, thank you for your candor. I forgot your own name. <laughs> little prick. Detective Diaz. I caught Mr. Ladd physically beating his boss with a fax machine. Most of his cheek was caved in. His head was basically a blood fountain. I'm sorry, is this amusing to you, Miss Diaz? <laughs> Are you all right, Detective? <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous. What do you think was the problem? We just assumed you were a terrifying human being with a short fuse. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is that you're nervous. That's where Charles Boyle lives, baby. I can help. <laughs> I just need to go to your happy place. Sounds stupid. Well, everyone's happy place is different. For me, I just imagine I'm slipping up the world's longest piece of the <laughs> It just keeps going, going. Every 20 feet of noodle, there's a sauce change. <laughs> I'm in my happy place right now. Mmm, carbonara. Great. Now I'm starving. That's a weird happy place. <laughs> I like yeah. it. I like it a lot. Hey, how'd it go broken? Perfect. Except I punched him in the face and made everything a billion times worse. What? Your client instigated the fight. I'm certain. She went to a happy place. And I'm happy to tell you why. Is that happy place just happy killing him? You punched Jimmy Brogan? Uh, what were you thinking? I thought I could handle my brown. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, this is gross. Go <laughs> on. You got the rest of the day to put your head on straight. If Jake didn't tell you, he must have had a reason. It's not my place. I'm disappointed in you, Santiago. I thought you and I were close. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're manipulating me. I know that Holt is a stickler, but he's actually a really good cop. Well, don't worry about it. We're friends. You don't have to stick up for that homo. I really wish you had just said that. What, homo? Oh! <laughs> that is an entirely different scenario. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, it is. <laughs> they found him guilty on all charges. Huh. Well, his advice worked. <laughs> <laughs> I could break a dining room table over his head. Then I rip off his arm and shove it where the sun don't shine. Then I reach down his throat and shake his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dinner. Tomorrow night, the huh? Bobbies. It's all you can eat, Linguini. Dude! Yes! Oh, my boyfriend's coming too. Oh. You want me now? <laughs> Damn That's it. So funny. Took us Linguini. The old guard would have eaten the guy like Peralta for breakfast and unloaded him by lunch. Oh, it's very colorful. It's fast digestion. And hurtful. You could ignore that garbage, Santiago. To me, Brogan wouldn't know a legit cop if he punched him in the face. <laughs> Guess I'm done with this. Not good enough. Three, oh, they're gonna blow two, it up! One. <laughs> oh, there's paper everywhere. Welcome to the party, pal! <laughs> God, I love that movie. It's die hard. Wait, she loves that movie. Not what? She likes the movie. I thought she liked. What was what was her number list of movies? You can love more than one movie. I guess. Uh, training I guess. day. <laughs> no, Fargo. hers wasn't Training Day, was it? Was hers Training Day? Was hers Fargo? 
can't remember. Uh, for Santiago, I wrote Training Day, Lethal Weapon, or Fargo. Okay. He loved Die Hard. Die Hard, Turner, and Hooch. Rosa loved Robocop. Robocop, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boiled, yeah, he loved Turner, and Hooch. <laughs> Uh, Terry loved Breathless. That's a good one. That last scene there with the bomb is one of the legit scenes you can see the actress who plays Rosa has a real smile on her face. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Like, she's there like, yeah. That was good. I thought, I like the way they did the, the punch thing. They, they made it like three flashbacks to yeah. tell us what happened. I know. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a twist in the sense that you think you have all the information and you're like, yeah, that, he went too far. But when you hear the real thing that happened, you're like, all right, I get it. Yeah, you get like the what's gonna happen, and it's like oh, there's a pool right there. Maybe he punches him in the pool. Yeah, and you're like oh, well he's not. He didn't. He said he was gonna print the quotes anyway, mm -hmm. so he punched him, and he said he w he said he wouldn't. Yeah, I don't know. I like it. It was good. I yeah. Yeah. and I like that he he also didn't want to tell Holt. He didn't want to make it about that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, of course. Bring it up. And he wanted to know that that kind of the people. You know, that he was saying that about. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. well, I just love that you know Peralta for as immature as he can be. Realize there's nothing, else, there's nothing else I can do. I'm just asking as a, as a person, but I'm not going to cross that line. Yeah. But you insult not just, you know, your superior officer, but he looks up to Holt, you know? Like he said there, Kenny, like he's a really good cop. And that guy just disrespected him because he, you know, this is his hero. This is the person he's looked, looked up to because he identified with those old cops and mm -hmm. thought, that's what I want to be. Realizes he doesn't want to be it and then uses... Assault after the guy insults who he really looks up to. You yeah. Know? Mm -hmm. so, no, it's good. I love uh, that. I like so. that. You know, they, they 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 play with Holt because he has and the way he talked about it is like all the disadvantages. You know, that he had mm -hmm. starting off and like when he walked in, what it was like. You know, and they you didn't turn yourself in. Yeah, they, you know, they, they that sh was terrible and hilarious. Oh, was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, they they, they have you know, the fact that he's black, the fact that he's gay. You know, all these yeah. things that they're like. He, he knows what it's like trying to be who he is now and what it was like before, whereas Peralta, like, has, you know, like, he could be a really good cop, but he just kind of takes some things for granted. He know? only sees the past with rose-colored glasses. True. Like, and, you know, being a, a, a white cop, too. He didn't, a right, white straight cop, I just say. Like, he doesn't see those things or the problems that those other guys had, you know? Like, yeah, he, I've seen those things entire life. Even though we haven't seen that in this precinct or anything, yeah. you know, like Not that's as, that's what he's seen in. in I mean, that's what Holt what's wanted. He wanted his own command. You 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 put up with that <coughs> stuff until you can make the changes, you know. But I, anytime we see Holt when he's young, I love that guy is a master of just a straight face. Yeah, he's wearing that <laughs> wig and the mustache, and it's just he commits. He's just you know the the, the yo yo killer guy, the disco killer, whatever. Like he's like but, freeze. And then you look at it, he's just, he's just yeah. like a crazy what man with a yo-yo and down. stuff. Uh, yeah. Strangling hippies with their own ponytails. That was a good, <laughs> was a good line. Um, I, I love the response where he's like, great, and she's like, illegal. <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. It's just funny. Uh, Dude, Boyle's laugh was the funniest <laughs> part of that scene. <laughs> Like, Go back to that part because it, well, it's so, it hurt. It hurt him too. It might have been my favorite part of the episode. <laughs> she punches him and he laughs. It's 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 like a it's like a hyena, isn't it? Yeah. Like I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if they removed it and redubbed it with a hyena laughing. <laughs> I can't do it. It's so goddamn funny. I wish in that Rosa scene when she had been talking about what she wanted to do with that lawyer, they would have went true lie style. Showed Arnold it? And the, um, huh? Like, oh, I thought you were going to say they showed it. Well, yes, yeah, like showed it or just implied more of it mm -hmm. or something, but it was still pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah, I did love the line about shaking my hand. Yeah. That's a great line. We also, um, we, we saw a little bit of the flashback to, uh, to Holt, but we also saw a little bit of what it was like in the 80s for... Scully and Hitchcock, they were still cocaine. It looked the same, but yeah. <laughs> they looked the same, they just darkened Dude, the, the, the no shirt thing? Yeah. When he's just like, well, I'm packed! Yeah, he's on <laughs> cocaine too. It's like, I you like, ever drink? Oh no, I, don't, I never drank ever. But all of 1986, I was on cocaine the whole year. Oh, the, the bomb shoe thing? Yeah. I kind of like that, but at the end here, like, I didn't notice Scully's like, like they panned over after the psyche valve, where yeah. like Scully's like, yeah. Like, like he's been, I didn't even notice that the first time we went yeah. through it. It's just so funny. I like that they're just like background characters that kind of just interact, but you don't really see yeah. much of them. Yeah. Flashbacks to Scully and Hitchcock's former years will be one of my, it'd be one of your favorite parts of watching this show. I absolutely love it. Why hair bag? 
I don't know. I, I guess what like. What does that mean? Okay, this is me just guessing. Hmm. But like a hairnet, maybe like generally, you know, like a, a woman is in like you know in like a kitchen, like not doing man's work, has her hair up out of her face. Hmm. I think is what it's meant to be the technology of that. I'm gonna look at that. Hair bag. I don't know. Beach. In police parlance, the bag means the uniform. So officers believe hair bag is a riff on a longtime officer's uniform, so old it has become hairy, and describes veterans who know what the police call the job inside inside and out. So exactly what I said. No. It's also <laughs> not related at all. Yeah, it's just a terrible. It's basically like the bag is the uniform, and it's hairy because <laughs> it's grown junk. Just a lip brush. Uh, maybe. So hmm. Peralta at one point said that he's verticulous, and they were like, "That's not even a real word." Means. <laughs> he's like, "That's not even a real word." It means a digestive cavity, such as a gizzard or stomach. All right. I just wanted to look it up because, like, I don't know what that means. Holt is verticulous. Yes. B story with Rosa. It was funny. I loved her threatening the stenographer. And the mm. her, like that look of horror, but still having to type. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. They had really good cutaways. I also just love how encouraging Terry is. Like, he was in the bathroom. Yeah. Like, good job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I like Terry a lot. He's one of my favorite characters of the show. Him and Holt are probably my favorite, too, of the whole, the yeah. whole show so far. Just because of the way. Like, I love what last episode, episode before, when he's doing the pull-ups and he falls asleep. Uh-huh. You know? And Holt's just as deadpan. Like, they're both so good. But I think what makes them is all the crazy characters around them. Sure. And all the stuff that's going on that yeah. they just... They, I have they a excel. soft spot for Boyle myself. His... Something about his happy place is just so funny. Every 20 feet, a new type of sauce is just hilarious. That's great. <laughs> 20 feet. Why 20 feet? You know? I don't know. 20 feet is the yeah. appropriate amount What's of the, the, ra- the rate of noodle consumption? Yeah. yeah. Like how fast? You know, are you like going through like a foot like every two seconds or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, like Rosa, now I'm hungry. Dude, because he That's went right. through, he was like, ooh, pesto. Mm, carbonara. Like he went through that quick. Like that's 20 yeah. feet. 20 feet. That's fast. Then even Tram didn't even eat pasta that fast. Yeah. Well, from the beginning of the episode, we know he's quick. When Peralta was like, and it happened quick when I lost my virginity. He's like, good job. Yeah. Oh. Down. <laughs> That's true. I like that little flashback of him as a kid. Yeah. Uh, when the show started, they really emphasized it felt like the rivalry between Santiago and Peralta. And especially here, whenever he's kind of going through shit, she seemed a little more supportive mm-hmm. as opposed to that rival thing. And, and he then, said that her butt being one was yeah, nice. Yeah, he kind of let his guard down and, like, didn't just straight up insult her, but kind of implied that he likes her, he likes her butt. True. Which I don't know why. I also think that, yeah, right. I also think that through the, I mean, what we have, what, eight episodes so far? Yeah. They've started to establish more of, like, team building and working as a team a little bit yeah. more. Whereas when Holt first came in, it was more like, I'm versus you and you're versus me. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Maybe that's a thing. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Copper socks, Eric? Yes. Copper socks. Can I just shove pennies in my socks? No. You can go to Amazon, just type in copper socks, and you can get some ones. I mean, they're just as cheap as regular. Yeah. So, but, do they uh, contain pennies, the pennies stink? Pennies, pennies smell terrible, Eric. Terrible. I mean, I'm wearing them right now. Don't, don't take them off. Okay? No. These are copper line socks, all right? <laughs> So, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, they're like copper infused. All right, I have like 20 pair. They're fantastic. That doesn't answer my question. Does it contain the stink or does it eliminate the stink? Like, does it save the shoes or does it save the socks? Like, does it hold it onto your foot? Okay, so and before I got these, I would take my off. shoes off at the end of the day and Jancy would be like, oh, Jesus. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah, I know. Let me go wash my feet. I'm staying in my fucking bath washing my feet like a. Idiot, you know? Like an idiot. And I'm like, all right, what do I do? And I started researching it, copper infused. So I do that. Now, I take my shoes off at the end of the day. She can't smell my shoes or my socks. Why don't okay. you take your socks off? I don't know. That's I'll the question, take, Eric. Take That's off. the most important question. <laughs> no, but what, really what they do is they also, they, they allow your shoes to breathe better. You breathe better. Yeah. What it is. You hit that so you don't, <laughs> you don't sweat as much. So I'm just saying, out there, my nephew Hunter has, and I'm sorry, Hunter, I'm going to tell the whole world. Like sulfuric, <laughs> sulfuric <laughs> like feet. Like my sister, like almost throws up when he gets home and takes his shoes off. Right? <laughs> I told him about the the copper infused socks. It's helped. Nice. But I mean, it's like the devil. It's like it's like <laughs> the same parts fifteen years ago. 
Shane's farts 15 years ago were so bad I would leave. <laughs> yeah. I'd leave yeah, it. You would leave your apartment. You're only human. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes. If you want to see next week's episode already, check out patreon.com slash blindwave. You can see next week's episode right now. And down in the description below, you can find links to twitch.tv slash blindwave where we have streams going on uh, Monday through Saturday. <laughs>